This is an addendum to the first term on statistics, namely the correlation coefficient. and the regression line. Francis Galton was the first one to compute a regression line. He looked into how the size of P's is being inherited as follows. X describes the parent piece, so to speak the size, the diameter of the piece, and Y describes the children. And then he examined how the size of the children depends on the size of the parents. For instance, he looks at a certain plant. The size of the parents may be 6 millimeters, and then he looks at the size of the children maybe 5 millimeters, and this is one data point. Then he looks at the next plant. This plant possibly has smaller peas, and this is the size of the offspring of this plant, and here's the next data point. Maybe these are pretty big peas in the mother plant, so to speak. Say 7 millimeters, and the children have, plant, say, 6 millimeters, 5 millimeters, and so on. Painstaking work. And this results in a cloud of data points. That's the result of months of experiments. A data cloud. Every point depicts the size of the peas in one parent plant and the size of the peas in its offspring. Obviously, there is a correlation between these two. Correlation, a relation between several things. If the parent peas get bigger, the size of the children gets bigger on average. If the size of the parents shrinks, then on average the size of the children shrinks. That would be a positive correlation. If the cloud of data points would look like this, however, this would be a negative correlation. I've announced that this is going to become the first regression line. One looks for a linear model of this relation. If I look at this relation and want to describe it by a line, the regression line, y equals m times x plus b, We do not yet know the slope or the intercept that would become the regression line. A linear model for the data that I collected. Regression. Why regression? What's regressing here? It's the specific application of Galton, why this is called regression line. Namely, you see that the children piece are not as clearly above the average if the parents are above average. So maybe here is the average of the parents and here is the average of the children the average of the diameters. If the parents are larger by this amount, the children, however, are not that much bigger on average. And that's called 
regression to the, the mean. The children generation regresses to obviously the something from genetics here. The same happens in the other direction. If the parents are smaller than the mean, the children are smaller too, on average, but not as much. Again, the children are closer to the mean. In other words, the line that I have drawn has an angle of less than 45 degrees and a slope below 1. That's regression, regressing towards the mean. This happens in this case in genetics and in many other cases, but that's not general. The slope of that linear model need not be Nonetheless, below 1. This line is called regression line. That name stuck. Even if the data card looks like this, and the line has a slope above 1. The same may be even more absurd if the correlation is negative. x increases, y decreases on average, a negative correlation, but still it's called regression line. The name is used all of the time even though the application may not have something to do with regression. The linear model is called the regression line.